and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Battleship. This is going to be our first Meme Tier Monday deck. This is a donation deck submitted by a viewer that built a deck around um, the Armada. We have the Siren, the Leviathan, and the Dreadway. So our whole Armada is here. We're calling on the Navy, getting the ships in here. So our champions, of course, Swain, because two, two Leviathan, two Swain. One Dreadway can grab our one Gangplank, and our two the Sirens can grab our three Misfortunes. Um, so, you know, like, we're, we're going to be a, a deck that cares about damage, a deck that cares about plunder, um, a bunch of Bilgewater stuff, and kind of Navy kind of cards with Petty Officer, um, I don't know, Island Navigator. I guess the Navy goes to different islands, so that works there. Um, you know, we got our hired guns and everything like that. And, of course, Parlay. Looks like a pretty fun deck to play. We're going to try three different ships and see how it goes. All right, calling this this deck Battleship. We're just gonna play over in normal. That's what we that's what we do with our meme tier Monday decks. After this, we got two different smooth soloist decks that we're going to try out, and um, uh, and I've never I haven't played a smooth soloist deck before. I've never played one, so this is gonna be the first time trying that. So I'll be real interesting to see how it does. All right, good curve, one, two, three. Hey, what's up, wind up, just got started. Um, who are the meme champions? What do y'all think in chat? What do y'all think, who are the meme champions? I mean, I would the first one I would think would be Teemo um, as a meme champion. Um, yeah, Tito. Yeah, I think, I think Teemo's the biggest meme champion. Of them all. Do I want to waste hired gun on that thing? Is that even a waste? The thing is, is like I could go hired gun on that, then they could go like rummage. Then maybe they're planning on doing rummage anyway. And oh no! And then they would just trade, and then oh what? But then they didn't block. Oh, fearsome! Ha ha ha! Fearsome, we got him. Got him with the fearsome. All right, so now I can go monkey idle this turn, and so that next turn we'll have our powder monkey will challenge with the vulnerable. What? Why did I not do the other one? The strongest one. Isn't this one stronger? I mean, they're the exact same, but this one has elusive. I don't really have a good emo for that. A worthy end. A worthy end. Oh no! Wow! Surprised they didn't just do that in the first place. Why'd they use the Mystic Shot on that thing when they if they had that? You know, like why why use the Mystic Shot? If that was just gonna kill Legion Grenadier anyway. Oh, okay, so that was... Okay, so you're saying that was a bug, like it should have targeted this one? Okay, people are saying that that was a bug that should have targeted this one.
is my spear. Can't win if you don't play. Just as I hypothesized. Always have a backup. That that twisted fate was was a killer. Like I, I should have just gone to combat. Like you know, playing the cutthroat and then getting twisted faded. That was, a, yeah, that was a killer. good <laughs> the problem is I need to kill Jinx and I need to kill Brash Gambler and I need to kill this 2-2 There's too many things I need to kill. It's possible this doesn't work if they can just play this card. Alright, I think they got this now. That was a good draw. Um... But honestly, I need to kill because I need to kill Slotbot. I need to kill. I need to just kill everything, and I can't kill everything. We're going to have some kind of really good draw. I don't know exactly what. The Cutthroat's not going to be able to get through. They will draw two cards at the beginning of their turn, so this Astute Academic is going to be a 3-2. Could be a good draw when you take out Jinx. No! The only thing I need to be able to target was Jinx. Okay, well they, had, they, had, they drew pick a card anyway, so it didn't matter. They're gonna just, uh, you know, they would get the... Pick a card was perfect. That empties their hand, so doesn't matter. Let's try this again. Where are you? No, 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 no. It's 
couple of things that would have really helped us out that last game was like if we would have actually if we would have made the elusive vulnerable that would have helped out a bunch which I guess we're supposed to but that's just a bug in the game um, that would have definitely helped out and then if I would have attacked and not let them twist it fate you know like they I just played that mystic shot first I did not think that they were gonna go twist it fate Right after that mystic shot, that was weird. Ooh, okay. Does death follow me for peace? She's death is killing her claws. Ow. Going wide. And yes, the Soul Shepherd can kill my two tube. That's gonna allow me to make it rain to kill Soul Shepherd. Seems like the weirdest block, right? Like, why doesn't that block the three two? some spaces to, to open up. That's a lot of damage. Make it worth my while. <gasps> this would be two spaces opening up. Me taking a lot of damage. Make it three spaces. Dead. It's a tough call. What to do? I don't hate this straight out attack. Open wide. I'm gonna do that. I basically I don't want them to just play like haunted relic, you know, get three two twos to block with. That was fine. Alright, get a 
Ooh. All right, so this, I think they, they will all be stunned, right? So like this deals one damage to them, so it stuns that, and then it copies them, and so then they're all stunned. That was a great draw. My comfort and only one way. <laughs> that was a get wrecked. <laughs> Ooh, got two new subs. Swamp Wolf and Ender. Welcome to the channel. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat for our new subs. Thank you so much, Santa Kitty Dexterity. Did I miss a sub earlier? Let's see. So that's two. Um, no. Okay, so just two for today. Okay. Making sure I, did, I didn't miss one towards the sub goal. All right, gonna mulligan the Leviathan and oh no, this is a control deck, so I guess we don't probably need the Mega Rain Death's Hand. I'm we'll mulligan those as well. Maybe I keep Leviathan. Leviathan's pretty awesome. The problem, with, like, I wouldn't mind having one Leviathan in hand. The problem is like we keep Leviathan and then we mulligan into like the Siren and the the Gangplank one, and we just have <laughs> all super expensive cards. That's the problem. All hands on deck. I'll take a Yeti Yearling. The order rewards its fate. Don't stand in my way. Um, I could save like Death's Hand to kill the Tutu, and not attack with Petty Officer. There's probably not that many targets for Death's Hand. I guess we could do damage on their turn also for, to help out the that gangplank. I will play my part. And then we'll go grenadier. That's the shadow. Fuse is lit. Man, that thing is super vulnerable. I basically don't love either Hunter or Misfortune against Thresh. Like if they play Thresh, I don't you know I'm gonna be sad either way. Super vulnerable. Run while you can. All right, I like seeing that vengeance go. I don't mind them drawing hapless or a scrap. That's good. One vengeance is down. That's good. That's good. And them using the Vile Feast there probably signifies they don't have um, I 
Withering Whale. Don't know whether I just lead with Rage of Skill Hunter right now and then try to play like Misfortune next turn. Just play Siren next turn. Play Misfortune now and then Siren next turn. No prey. No. Just do that. Like I want to play one of the scouts. Um. It's obviously bad for me with their ruination, but it's not the end of the world. That's also the problem with how to how to deal with that. Ooh, I like that. Especially how we have not drawn a gangplank yet. So I like that. I know they can have another ruination. It's not super likely, but it's possible. At least the, at least the card replaced itself. I was more worried about <clears throat> you know, like we're you know I played something that replaced itself at least. Um, it's definitely worried about them just like playing Karma and then and then being able to use like the life gain spells and us never uh, uh, us never being able to outrace Karma. Um, so I thought it was My worth it. You know, instead of just attacking for six, then they go Karma, and you know, then they have you know Withering Whales and Grass the Undyings and stuff like that, and we just never beat it. I thought it was worth it to pressure and see and make them have a second ruination. Last hapless aristocrat, they've gone through two ruinations, one vengeance. Yeah, like they're definitely a three ruination deck, but that doesn't mean that they're gonna have a second one still. 
this this was the problem with not not extending because they could do this stuff so we just hit the both the worst of both worlds not only not only did they have the ruination which is terrible news but then they also have the karma plus the other spells so they just um, had of both things Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. I don't think it was super likely with that pass that they had ruination. I thought it was super. I thought it was more likely that they had a karma that they wanted me to attack, and then they were going to play the karma after combat. I thought that was the most likely thing. His opponent going for the most boring match of all time. Yeah, that's that is their deck. Love ya. And we are, you know, we're a slower mid range deck. If this is this hat, like if they have if they have a good matchup, this has to be it, right? Like they have to if they can beat anything, it's got to be a slow mid range deck. It's like Vile Feast kills this thing. The navigator is harder to kill. They have to use, you know, like a three damage spell, but like or they even just have Withering Whale, like Withering Whale would kill the Petty Officer. This gives us a better chance of the Karma dying. Even though the the 2-4 is more valuable because it does have the scout. So I'm potentially sacrificing a more valuable piece. But force them to use grasp over there. Tied with cards for now. Anytime they find another karma, we lose. Why'd I have to say that? Basically, when by we lose, I mean they get four cards. So that probably means that we lose. That only draws two. The second one doesn't resolve because there's nothing to sacrifice.
Yeah, they did just have four mana draw six, but it cost them two cards. It was basically like one card drawing five. Right. Found another karma. That what barrier lifesteal? It's gotta be barrier lifesteal. That's barrier life steal. There's blood in the Means I can't challenge with the one one. I got challenge with the four four. Could have been a twin disciplines. Also, they're just going to use. Free grass the undying with his name. Broke it, you were burn if you don't. Bleh. Well, that's the best draw in my deck. I doubt we win this with them having the 10 cards, but that's the best draw on my deck. Compassion, not anger, drives us to Yeah, Mage Seeker would have been a great one drop. Still doing a good amount of damage. They're down to three. Play Karma. Play Karma. Play Karma. Playing Karma would be not there gaining is life. There is hope. Leviathan? I, I thought for sure they were going to use like some kind of removal and stuff and not just go down to three. GG. Do they just have no removal in here? I'm like so surprised that actually worked. Guess not. Yeah, health potion was there out after after playing Karma. That was their one card they could have. They're out. Yeah, absorb soul. True, true. Because they could have generated an absorb soul with the inside of ages. All right, I. Th I mean, I like all this stuff. This looks like a pretty decent hand to me. We'll have Navigator be the double attack for Misfortune. And we do have the turn of four. You know, we are attacking turn four. Cool. Hey there. Don't mind the knife. Deuce is lit! A deal in coins and garnish. You won't feel it. Got some fighting ya. Got some fighting ya. 
Yeah, cutthroat. I'm one of the good guys, but not hey there. Works out perfectly. Every way is a path. Okay. Could be worse. Ouch. Wow. Kill the two two kill the two one ones and give them a Sejuani trigger. Ouch. I think have to be tough. Make that vulnerable. Gotta kill their misfortune this turn. There's blood in the water. The ocean whispers her secrets. Under Poro. Always forward. Uh, help in. think it really makes sense for me to attack with the Swain into the Razor Scale Hunter. But, I mean, like, if they have, like, a... Yeah, it would make sense if they go, like, Sejuani and make this a 0-3. Um, then it could make sense that I would have done that. Naturally. Probably should have just attacked with it. Stand and fight. Three out of five.
Poro is actually going to be really good for them. Yeah, the tough Poro is actually going to be really good for them. Oh no, it's doing two damage. Okay, never mind. I was thinking it was gonna do one damage twice. No, it's doing two damage. Made choices. Love ya. I sure hope they don't have Fury of the North. Basically, w whatever blocks, what so they don't have Fury, whatever blocks my misfortune, I need to make a rain to hit. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, I, the, my Siren's dead. Ugh, my Siren's dead. Oh. Alright, so I might as well just cast this after combat. To kill Sejuani, no, no reason to play it pre-combat, it doesn't save anything. So this is fine. Can I get away with playing Monkey Idol this turn and make it rain next turn? The problem with waiting is that then they could have it. They could draw another Sejuani, have like the Fury of the North to protect that. They could go um, an Island Navigator and get two things, and then maybe we miss. Um just uses my mana so much better to play Monkey Idol first. Or it says make it rain now. Oh wait! Make it rain doesn't work, because they just they just cast warning shot and they level up Sejuani. Make it rain doesn't work. They can just cast that and make make this two health. Fight for your lives. That would not have worked. I guess it wouldn't let them rip that Rex. But the Petty Officer is a really good draw. I can go Petty Officer, Powder Keg. Got the last misfortune. Man, we we have been skinning by with these wins. 
These have been super close that we have been just pulling out some wins. Super close. Ooh, championless elusives. This is be tough. This is where we want our make it rains. Make it rain. Um, it's still misfortune into island navigator is still super strong. I'm gonna just keep that. Monkey idol, I don't want you. Make it rain. Okay, that's make it rain. That's good. I do not want to see Crimson Disciple. Please, no Crimson Disciple. Green Glade Duo. Green Glade Duo. Green Glade Duo. Green Glade Duo. No duos. That's not good. I wanted a bunch of Green Glade Duos. At least this thing doesn't just kill me immediately. Now it's 3 3. 3 3 is a lot better for Island Navigator, also. Yuck. <laughs> OP decks have three ships in them. <laughs> Everybody knows that. We got the fourth ship. Dra Draven's biggest fan. This is this is a ship, right? It moves Dra Draven to the top of your deck. It is basically the fourth ship. Basically. If they don't break, they'll burn. Is that all? Less is more shot. Let's see what you can do. Doing this right now while I know 100% for a fact I am hitting that Solitary Monk. That's the important thing. Gotta hit that Solitary Monk, make it a 3-2, and now we have the Death's Hand. It will help take it down. That's fine. That's fine with me. That's less fine. You've made your path. Come on. This unfortunately is the worst time for Monkey Idol. That was just it's a really poor card to be seeing. Ooh, you're cute when you're on. Firepower is always in style. So that's going to be three. 
seven, nine. So yeah, even if they even if they block this grenadier, it's lethal. They need they need you know like a noxion fervor. They need something that does damage to me. So yeah, they can't just you know blocking there still puts them down to exactly zero. No, don't actually have it. No, just game over. GGs. Don't actually have noxion fervor. It's too late for you. Come on. Ugh. Well, we won some super close ones. Lost that one that was super close. You know, can't be too mad at, at losing that whenever we won some others that were just as close as this one. Yeah, that was... We needed one other, like, real spell to play and not a monkey idol. Um, it did seem like I we could maybe use even just another removal spell ourselves, like another Noxion Fervor um, or something like that on our end. Maybe Transfusions to help keep Misfortune alive and just do some combat trick stuff. Maybe we had too many units. Um, just in general. But, uh, but yeah, that was still, still definitely a fun deck to play. That was cool having the three ships. We got to use all of them. Like the, the Leviathan stole us a game. Siren looked pretty good. Um, finding us misfortunes and drawing those. And we had a Dreadway that, um, you know, got we got to play once and go grab Gangplank. And then both, then Dreadway got Ruination, Gangplank got um, Grasp, un, grasp the Undying from a leveled up Karma. But the Leviathan still stole that game. So it was still, you know, it was worth it having all of those extra uh, cards. Um but yeah, like you know, we have nine spells. I could see, I could see going up to maybe twelve at the most. But you know, probably, I probably would rather have like ten or eleven, like ten, eleven, or twelve over nine. I didn't really like the part. Like the parlays weren't very good. Like they didn't really count or do very much. I think, I think parlays could be, um, like transfusion would would work would be more impactful than uh, than parlay, and then you could have. Um, you know, either another Noxion Fervor or a Culling Strike, something like that. Um, I'd probably go with our with our deck. I'd probably go with the second Noxious Noxion Fervor and kind of go like this and go eleven spells, and then we'd have to cut two units. Um, I'd probably just cut one Monkey Idol. Like the thing is, you have just so many three mana cards, and Misfortune and Petty Officer were both awesome. I don't know if you need three. Like, Monkey Idol is okay. Like, it, it levels up your Gangplank, and it's it's not like a bad card, but you probably don't need three of them. I think two is perfectly fine with that card. So that's that's one cut, and then another cut would probably be the third Prowling Cutthroat. Same kind of thing. Cutthroat was, it was fine, but it wasn't, like, anything special. And it's, like, it's like pretty good to have the one early, but it's not a card you want to draw late. Um, and, you know, I think it's just fine playing too um <laughs> so i think i think that's what i would do to upgrade the deck i would take out um i'd switch up those five cards take out the parlays take out one cutthroat one monkey idol and then play transfusions and a couple noxion fervors Besides, besides, if you if we want to play the third one drop, want to play that other cutthroat, like we never drew Citrus Courier, that could maybe be a card to to trim on. Um, that would probably be the other card to trim because you know we we never drew it. It's it's probably just fine though. I think it I think it would probably have a bigger impact on the game than the cutthroat would have. Do you want me to? All right. Do you want me to save this this version on in Mobilitics? Yeah, Mister said you always can. Um, here. I like keeping the version that we played. 
Then, let's see, where's our deck? Battleship. Let me, oh, collection. Code. There we go, there's the code. Does that help? So when you play and then this isn't here, why why do they not just have the share thing there also? Why do you have to go to collection to share? Let's just keep that there. Um. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's it here for Battleship. There you go. Thank you so much there, Anmo, for the donation deck. Uh, our first meme tier Monday deck today. Now we're going to be going and playing some smooth soloist decks after this. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck. And um, uh, if so, hit that like button over there. And, of course, uh, feel free to leave those comments about the deck as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Battleship. And I'll see you for the next video.